Hey everybody, welcome to my Aquarius December 2020 Tarot Love Reading. If you're new to this channel, please give it a like and subscribe. I adore each and every one of you. And if you resonate with the reading and you want me to get even more nosier than I already will, because I'm very thorough, I'll also provide the link to the extended pinned at the top of the comments and also in the description box below where you'll also find info on how to book a personal reading with me. Damn, that Eight of Cups wanted to fly out and then I have the Ace of Cups in my hand. Perhaps someone needing to walk away from something in order to have new love. All right, that could have been a side message for somebody. All right. Now, I did a live stream Monday night announcing a contest that is still open until Sunday night. I even introduced myself, so you get to see my face in that video. Um, I'm giving away five tarot decks to five individual people. Uh, I will announce the winners on my live stream Monday night, December 21st at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you still have time to enter if you want to. Now, just go to my playlist and look for the video titled, Let's Chat, Bands and Hangout. And click on that video and you don't even need to watch the video. It's the rules to apply is in the description box, okay? But if you do want to watch me explaining it, the first 15 minutes of that video is me talking about it, and then the rest you don't need to watch as it's just me answering viewer questions, okay? All right, let's get to it. Aquarius, December 2020 tarot love reading. What do we got for Aquarius, December 2020 love tarot reading? What do we have for Aquarius in love? Aquarius love reading. Tarot reading for Aquarius, December 2020. One more shuffle. Let's rock, ah, sorry, let's rock this deck. Aquarius, December 2020, love. Oh, there you are. Could be dealing with a business owner or someone with very good work ethic. Whoa, Aquarius, damn, okay. I really dig this reading. I think it's been a while, I think, since I really did a really good reading for Aquarius. No, my last one was pretty good. It was talking about a future marriage. All right, so you could definitely be dealing with a water sign, an air sign such as yourself, Taurus or Leo. And I have Pisces here, heavenly. Just one moment while I gather the energy. You have a very spiritual connection with somebody, Aquarius. A very spiritual one. And I feel like your person... I feel like your person may have been the one that was picking up on those downloads first. Because I feel like your person is also very highly intuitive. But I feel like right now you may be getting all these downloads currently while your person is focusing on their finances. All right, so the mutual energy I have is the sun, Leo energy. You both want to birth a new beginning. Even if you've never been together before, you both want some sort of new beginning, okay? Or you guys could have been together before, broke up, now you want a new beginning, okay? Take it however it resonates. But what I'm seeing is the mutual energy is I want this with this person, and my person also wants it too. It's mutual energy, happiness, optimistic about your future and love. Two people who make each other happy. There's a lot of, a lot of positive vibes, a lot of you know good, good intentions. When you guys talk to each other, it flows. All right. You guys may even send a bunch of funny text messages back and forth. It, it's very childlike. Okay, you could be in your 40s, 50s, 60s and still act like a child when you're with this person because they make you feel lighthearted. All right, they bring the kid out of you. All right, so your current feelings for this person is the Four of Swords and the Fool card. Okay, you're being very quiet with them. You're not talking to them at all for whatever reason. Because the Four of Swords is that energy of, Basson, I'm tired. I'm stressed out. I need to take a breather. I need to just clear my head and just rest. And I just, I got, I gotta, I gotta do this. I gotta do this for myself because there's something going on with you guys' connection that is tiring you. 
which is weird because the outcome is freaking amazing. The mutual energy is amazing, but there's something going on between you guys currently and possibly in your recent past that's really stressing you both out. It's like you both have some major decision to make. Your person does too. I'm going to get to that in a moment, but from what I'm seeing here is you're definitely taking a breather from this person. This person could have pulled back away from you first and now you're like, you know what, if you're going to not talk to me as much, then I'm just going to work on myself right now. But you do want to have a new beginning with this person. The Fool card. That's it. That's it. That's taking a risk. A risk for love. With the sun being the overall energy and the outcome speaking of the love. That's why I'm just immediately saying the Fool is connecting to this love relationship because that's the outcome I see. All right. This person makes you feel good. This person makes you feel alive. It's like they're a ball of energy. When you talk to them, you feel all giddy inside. Regardless if you're a guy or girl, it's something about your person that makes you feel like, damn, God, I gotta get more of this. All right? They make you feel good. All right? You want more of that. But for whatever reason, you guys are not communicating with the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is that temporary separation energy. Needing to be alone. Wanting to be alone with one's thoughts. Wanting to focus on your mental stability. There could have been a situation surrounding your life that really knocked you on your feet. Off of your feet, excuse me. So that's why you're pulling away from this person. Maybe you started a business that didn't go as planned. Maybe the holidays are really stressing you out. Maybe your finances aren't as it should be. There could be a plethora of reasons of why you just want to break. But I feel like you care about this person a lot and you want to be with them with the fool. You're in darkness without them. And then when they're in your environment, you feel the light. All right? So I feel like you may have gone dark on this person, turned off the so cell phone, turned off social media, turned off the engagement, and you're just doing you. And when you're doing you, when you're resting, that's when you get a lot of those intuitive downloads. Because the Four Swords is also that energy of rest. And when you're resting, your intuition talks to you. That's when you can actually hear what the messages are that they're saying. Okay? Because when you're stressed out, you really don't hear what you're supposed to be hearing. But when you're rested, that's when all of those little thoughts pop into your head. Like little thought bubbles. Alright? So I will clarify this in a couple moments to get more details on why you decided to, you know, cut communication with them. But it's temporary. The Four of Swords is always my energy of temporary separation. So, on their side, we have the King of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. They, too, have a head over heart decision to make. But right now, they're focusing on their business. You may be dealing with a business owner. I do see heavy Taurus here. So, this could be a Taurus Sun, Libra Moon, Leo Rising. Libra Sun, Taurus Moon, Leo Rising, or Leo Sun, Taurus Moon, Libra Rising, or something like that. So, yeah, your person's just focusing on their finances right now, but there is a decision that they're wanting to make in regards to you. They're trying to make the, the decision without their emotions being involved because they might fear that their emotions are going to lead them astray. So they're definitely just putting a blindfold over their eyes and throwing darts on a dartboard, hoping that the universe will guide the dart to the direct target where they need to go. So they're putting this decision in the hands of the universe while focusing on their work. They're like, you know what? I'm just, if Aquarius isn't going to talk to me or if this isn't going to get off the ground, I'm just going to throw my energy into myself. You got someone who is very self-disciplined. Whoever this person is, Aquarius, they work hard. They provide for the family. They provide for their future. They don't go without because they work hard for every penny they have. If they got a big house, it's because they bought it. If they got a nice car, it's because they bought it. If people are getting money from them, it's definitely money that they worked for. So, there's a decision that they're wanting to make in regards to you. They may have already made this decision. This could have been someone who moved forward because of the lack of movement with this connection or vice versa. Remember, this could be vice versa. You guys can switch this. But the outcome's great. So, I'm excited to start clarifying. 
but let me get to the outcome first. The outcome is the High Priestess and the Two of Cups. This is a highly spiritual connection. Highly spiritual. To have the High Priestess come out with the Two of Cups definitely rings to me a connection that was felt instantaneously to the point where your intuition was triggering you with that High Priestess and the Two of Cups. When you meet someone that is connected to the Two of Cups, they feel like a long lost friend. You meet them. Hi, my name is Annette. Hi, my name is Joe. All right, but why do I feel like I've known you all my life? I don't know. I feel like I've known you all my life too. Huh, that's weird. It's your soul, your subconscious mind, recognizing their soul, their subconscious energy. Your souls are recognizing each other, but your, your conscious mind is suffering from amnesia. When you meet a soulmate, it's like you have those little bursts of memory discoveries. You know, you're suffering from memory loss and something triggers you to remember something. It's like you have a flash that tells you, I've known this person before. Because you have. Every time I see the Two of Cups, that speaks of past life relationships. Whether this person was your sister, your brother, your cousin, your mom, your dad, your uncle, in a past life. In this lifetime, you guys were supposed to be a relationship. Even if it ends up being a business partnership, a strong friendship that is like built to last, there is a bond here that you guys need to have together. And I feel like during this time of meeting this person, that's when you got all these intuitive downloads. It's like I'm picking up on an Aquarius that was not spiritual at all until they met this person. And now all of a sudden you're like wanting to know more about soulmates, wanting to know about twin flames, wanting to know about the afterlife because of this connection. Because you don't feel this energy with regular people who are not supposed to be in your life for a big pur purpose. You meet someone, hi, my name's Teresa. Hi, my name is Bill. And then... 30 seconds later, you forget their name. That, that usually signifies that person isn't meant to be in your life for a specific reason. You will not forget the name of a soulmate. They tell you your name and all of a sudden you hear it everywhere. You see it on billboards, you see it on license plates, you hear the name. You even hear a name that's not the same name, but for some reason you think it is the name. It's like, you know, Billy, but when you're thinking of Willie, <laughs> it's just like you can't stop thinking about this person. You guys are going to reconnect. All right, there's going to be a pull that brings you guys together. You both are being low-key disinterested, though. You both are acting low-key, not interested. Keeping things to yourself. Not wanting to just open up. You guys talk about everything else, but what's important. You keep the emotions hidden. But you talk about everything from the rainy weather, what game was played last night, did you like my recipe I tried? Things like that. So let's clarify. Please hit a like and subscribe. Um, I have the three of wands on the bottom. There could be distance between you guys and that could be, you know, what's the, you know, monkey wrench that is like effing this up. As I said that, I was clarifying the sun and I have the hangman. You guys are in stagnant right now. Stagnation. Maybe someone's needing to see a situation in a different point of view and that's possibly why you are energetically taking a time out so that you have time in your life to listen to your intuition. Because I feel like, excuse me, I feel like um, Aquarius, you may have gone through a situation where you were stressed out with work, life, bills, and things like that to where you didn't have the time or energy to, to really hear your intuition talk to you. And now you're taking some sort of mini vacation, I feel like. This could be, you know, an extended weekend. Maybe you're, you're not just having Saturday and Sunday off. You're going to have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday off. All right? Or maybe you're, you're giving yourself a few days for the holidays to really, really rest your mind and think what you want to do. And then once you realize what you want to do, that's when you're taking off. You're taking off with that full energy, which is you. Someone may have left you on the cold right now, or you left this person out on the cold, but I feel like you're both doing it to each other because I was clarifying the sun and I got the hangman with the five of pentacles. You both were like being silent. You guys could be communicating with each other every few days, every few weeks, but for the most part, 
what bond you had before where you guys would talk about everything under the sun, now you guys are being very withdrawn. Not even talking about anything. Because I feel like I'm picking up on a connection where two people were finding every reason to, to text each other, every reason to call each other, every reason in the book to main, remain in contact. But all of a sudden recently, now you guys don't even ask how, what's up. You both have put this on hold and there's like some sort of silent treatment. Whether or not you know you're doing this or not, you both are in that energy of, wow, it's been like six days since I've talked to so-and-so. I'm not reaching out. Forget that. I, I, I reached out first the last time. And then the other person's like, wow, it's been like six days since we've talked. It's got to be a reason. I'm not going to make the first mood. Forget that. There's got to be something going on. That's like the unintentional silent treatment that I'm getting. Because there is confusion with the Seven of Cups. Cancer energy. All right. You do see long term with this person with the Ten of Pentacles. So why does Aquarius have the Four of Swords and the Fool as their feelings towards this person? Why does Aquarius have itchy nose? Hold on. I swear. And itchy neck. I'm getting like itchy. <laughs> why is the Four of Swords and the Fool here? The Queen of Wands and the Ten of Swords on the bottom. Wow. You want to take action. You could also be dealing with a fire sign. You want to take action. You do. But right now, it's like you're going through some sort of healing for yourself. I don't know if you're suffering a loss of a, a relationship or there's some baggage that you still haven't let go of that needs to be let go of or not. Because the hangman is also that energy of letting go of something. Okay, so why does... Aquarius, this person have the King of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Libra and Taurus energy here. Whoa, I'm almost lost all my cards. That would have been a shit show. Why is the King of Pentacles and the Two of Swords here? The Strength card and the Five of Wands. Heavy Leo here. Um, and the Six of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Oh, you guys are not done. You guys are not done. I feel like there has been a completion of you guys communicating, but there's going to be a return with the Six of Cups. There could be children involved or something from someone's past life triggering them or something from someone's childhood that really made it hard for someone to open up. But your person is a very strong cookie. They're being very strong. There could have been some drama with you guys where uh, this person and you had maybe a minor... Um, Hiccup in the connection where there was some petty arguments with the Five of Wands. Leo energy. Alright. There could have been some codependency here too. Or someone was like holding on to something negative that wasn't serving them. Whether this is you or this person. Or there was an addiction or... I don't know. So why is the High Priestess and the Two of Cups the possible outcome? What leads us to the High Priestess and the Two of Cups? That's 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 a relationship. That is a partnership. That is two people finally listening to their intuition, opening up to each other, maybe through with a glass of wine together. Why is the Two of Cups and the High Priestess the possible outcome? You guys can also be doing a lot of tarot readings on each other with that High Priestess because the High Priestess image shows a tarot spread on the layout. Hold on, I'll show you that in a second. Wow. The Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords came out together. First of all, this is the High Priestess. You see how there's a tarot spread? Will it focus? This definitely speaks of one or both people really doing a lot of tarot readings on this connection because someone feels like, wow, there's more to this. There's got to be more to this. I don't feel this way with everybody. All right. Someone is really over in overthinking with the Eight of Swords. Heavy air energy. So it might be you. And you may have been suffering from a lot of nightmares about this connection on what to do. This is a sleeping cat. And then all these images above the sleeping cat is nightmares. All right. Maybe you're afraid that this person's going to hurt you. Maybe you're afraid of commitment. Maybe you're afraid of rejection. I don't know. I mean, it could be your person, but I'm getting it as you right now because this is heavy air energy. But some sort of cycle is wrapping up in order for this new beginning to have its place to shine with the full Aquarius energy. Taking that path to the sun. 
Leo energy, which is that mutual energy with the sun. All right, someone's about to face their fear because the Nine of Swords is facing one's fear after being in their head too much with the Eight of Swords, creating a lot of self-sabotage. So that's why I have the Two of Cups and the High Priestess here. You have the Fool right here. You taking some sort of leap of faith with the Fool, taking some sort of action with the Queen of Wands. And then I clarified the Eight of Swords with the Nine of Swords, and I have the Fool, which is connecting to this Fool energy that proceeds to the High Priestess and the Two of Cups. Boom. And then balance is brought to the connection with the Two of Pentacles. I love tarot. Can't you tell? <laughs> In the extended, I'll get more nosy on your person, see what they're going through. What's their hidden feelings, intentions, and actions? But right now, I'm pulling three romance angels for how you are seeing this situation, Aquarius. Please hit like and subscribe. I adore all of you. All right, what do we have for Aquarius? What is the highest message I can give Aquarius in regards to this person? A lot of Pisces, a lot of Aquarius, a lot of Leo, a lot of Taurus. Um, but it could be anyway. Chemistry. There is a strong magnetic connection here. A strong one. Look at that. And there could be a situation where there's... There's a pull towards each other. You guys just can't let each other go. And this situation does involve a marriage. So this could lead to marriage or someone is still healing from a divorce or someone is still in a commitment. And then as I said that, release your ex. Now, this doesn't have to be a person. Release your ex could be old energies that prevent you from moving forward in life. Childhood wounds, childhood abandonment issues, uh, old ways of thinking, you know, insecurities. It's ex energy that no longer serves you that you need to release. So it doesn't have to be a person, but for some, that was definitely a message connecting to this wedding card. And this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Uh, Aquarius, this was your December 2020 tarot love reading. I hope you liked it. And if it resonated, I will get even more newsier down in the extended pinned at the top of the comments. But if this is where I leave you, no big deal. I love you still. Please hit like and subscribe and share. I love you.